Been a month. I know. He was a great guy. But at least he knew he was leaving this place in good hands. <sighs> Thanks. So, what has it become official? The lawyer called wants to. Nice. My flight leaves for California at 6 a.m. So, some lawyer calls and you decide to take off for wine country in the middle of the Stewart case? It's not like it's a vacation. My great uncle's lawyer insists that I meet with her in person. I am sorry about your uncle, but is there some way you can do this over the phone or the email or something? We're slammed. Anyway, Kirkwood wants to know when you'll be back. I don't know, maybe I'll take a few days while I'm out there and think about things. I do have 55 unused vacation days. Maybe your uncle left you some money so you can travel the world and take me with you. Well, there were some paintings in his office that I loved. I'm sure that's what this is about. Fair enough. Change my course along the way. emergencies inside the gun everything's an emergency with kirk right he literally can't deal with you being gone oh i've never talked to vacation diane so it would be nice to see the vineyard again i always meant to come back here they just i don't know always seem somewhere more important to be hey susie hey i'm on my way to see your mom oh I'll tell her i say hi i will she said you guys have a fantastic new dessert of course she did it was her idea <laughs> that sounds about right <laughs> good luck hey thanks i'll see you <laughs> okay so I'll follow up your texts and calls the second they come in, you got it? Well, if you have to be out of the office, promise me you'll have fun. Okay. Well, I gotta go. I'm almost there. I'll call you when it's over. Okay, but you better sound like vacation Diana. Seth, how are you? Hey, Grant. I understand today's the day you take over Golden Range. Hopefully. Well, as a fellow vineyard owner, I know what a high-risk business it is. Yeah. Let me make you an offer on the winery. The sun is shining. Ooh, it feels good. All my life I've been right where I should. Hey. Hello, Seth. Brought you your favorite cab. <sighs> Thank you. I love all the Golden Range Reds, and I'm not just saying that. All the hard work is worth it when it makes people happy. So do I need to sign something? Hang on, we're waiting for one other person. Ooh, like a notary? Diana? Of course, you two know each other. Knew each other? Julie, I thought we were meeting alone. Well, you both need to be here. Hugh left a modification to his will. It's more like a letter. Hi, Seth and Diana. As you both know, my greatest asset is winery and vineyards. I'll be leaving it to both of you to split 50-50. Wait, what? There's more. My one stipulation is that you work together to bring in the next harvest. This might seem like a strange request, but it's my last wish. So I do hope you honor it. Hugh. Yeah, that guy is back again. We must be new in town. It's probably for your blue cheeseburger. I hear it's getting quite the reputation. I don't think he's interested in the food. <sighs> Hugh never mentioned this at all. I'm sorry, Seth. I know this wasn't what you expected. The harvest isn't for a couple weeks, right? Yeah. I'm only here for a couple days. Well, then you'll have to find a way to stay. But after that, you can do what you want with your share. Okay, but what if she goes? Then Golden Range is auctioned off. I just don't know how I'm off work. Well, you can say no, but 
Seth can't inherit if you do. So our special today is the tuna melt. The radiance of your smile melt the cheese. I'm sorry, I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. It's okay, believe it or not, I've actually heard worse. I'll just come out and say it. I would like to take you to dinner sometime. I don't date my customers. Can I get you anything to drink? Um, iced tea. Okay. So I'll text you the address. I guess I'll be staying here for a few weeks. You can bring it back. You own a winery. Well, not yet. I have to split it with my ex. Your college, and we didn't keep in touch. Ugh, well, I am jealous. I would love a few weeks in wine country. Is that Diana? Put her on speaker. Yes, sir. Diana, what's this about extending your vacation? Boss, hi. Um, I have to stay here for a few weeks. Family business. <sighs> well, I'm gonna need you to do a document review for Catchin Industries. Okay, I can work from here. Hey, virtual walk is very trendy. <laughs> Fine. I'll have Liz send you the files. Get on it. I think vacation Diana just died a horrible death. Here's your iced tea. Thank you. Here's your check. Whenever you're ready. Thanks. Can I get you something to drink while you decide? Is your water filtered here? I would have to check on that. Never mind. Just bring us some bottled water. And can you get someone to clean this table, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Dad, there's no reason to be rude to her. It wasn't rude. There's crumbs all over this table. Let her earn her tips. It must be Grant Garrett's. He was back in town. Well, that makes sense. His pickup lines are cheesier than the quesadillas, so he's cute. He likes you. He's just playing games. So, sure this looks familiar to you? Yeah, everything looks the same. did pack light. Oh, here, let me grab one of those. No, I got it. No, Seth, let me... I got it. You always were kind of stubborn. And you never let anyone help. Well, as I recall, you used to find it adorable. That was a long time ago. Hi. Oh, Diana, this is my foreman, Theo. Hi. Hi. The place looks great, Theo. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna go check on the Chardonnay. Okay? Yep. Pleasure to meet you, Diana. Yeah, Take same. care. So I'll be staying in the guest house. Uh, but we might be sharing the kitchen. Not much has changed, obviously. I haven't had a chance to clean this place up. It's been too hard. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'll, I'll box this up before I leave. Thanks. So as soon as the harvest is over, uh, I'll buy you out. Whoa, I think we'll have to talk about that. What is there to talk about? Got a great job in New York. We'll have you back to your fabulous big city life in no time. And how do you know what my life is like? I do know that you don't want to be stuck on a ranch. You are making a whole lot of assumptions here. I mean, maybe I'll stay after the harvest. I doubt it. How do you know that, Seth? Because... Oh, hey, Joe. Hey, Amelia. Would you like some more tea? Mm -hmm. Hey, Susie. Hey, Mom. I just heard that you volunteered to cater the harvest festival. Catering. Thought it was a good idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. Really? Don't worry, I'll help. Do you have time with all of your clients? Well, sure. I'm a partner, aren't I? Well, silent partner. Well, you haven't been here that long, and I know all the vendors. Actually, Mom, that would be really great. Thanks. You know, I'm thinking of featuring comfort food. Um, that's one way to go. Look, I have to run and meet a client, so why don't you and I come up with some ideas, and we'll go over them later. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks. We have to check the sugar content of the grapes every day. That's how we know they're ready for harvesting. Can I try the thingy? Refractometer. You're doing it wrong. Let, let, me, let me do it, it'll be faster. Or you could just show me how to do it and the work. Well, I'll have to explain like bricks levels and 
I don't, I don't have time to be a tour guide. You are unbelievable. You said you were slammed with work stuff, so you do what you're good at and I'll handle this. Well, Uncle Hugh left me half of this vineyard, so I want to do half the work. You were never interested in working the vines, why now? I was always interested, Seth. You would never let me help. Okay, look, I'll have Theo get you up to speed, okay? But you say you want to do half the work, that's how much you're gonna do, no less. Bring it on. <sighs> so is harvest time close? Not close enough. You're still at work? Perkwide is having everyone work overtime, and I mean overtime. Well, I had a chance to look at that brief. Oh, good. Kirkbride's been asking for it all day. So, how are things in wine country? Well, Seth doesn't want me here, and I thought Kirkbride was working my last nerve. You just have to deal with him for a few more weeks. After you cash out your half, I bet you can afford a really nice condo in the Upper West Side. I don't know. Maybe it would be fun to rent. Well, he left it to me for some reason. You're kidding, right? I don't know, Liz. I mean, what's back for me at the firm? Don't be silly. Everyone knows how hard you work. Either way, if I stay or go, that should be my decision, not Seth's. So if he's not related, how did he wind up with half the vineyard? Well, his dad was a foreman, so he grew up on the vineyard. And then, I mean, we were teens. He lost both his parents, so Uncle Hugh brought him in and taught him the business. So did he age well? All that field work, I'm thinking muscles. Liz. Okay, let's get back to the brief. Diana. <sighs> Diana. Ah, what? Whoa. What the? Oh. I have to go to sleep. No, you have to wake up. It's already 6 a.m. Yeah, I got that. What, um, what time? Now, we have to go check the grapes for mildew. But I got a conference call. Hey, you're the one that wanted to work the field. Amelia! Amelia! <laughs> Running off that Reuben special? Just clearing my head. Yeah, there's some nice trails around here. I could show you sometime. I'm training for a marathon. The only marathons I can make it through are the ones on TV. <laughs> Did you catch the Hitchcock marathon last weekend? I still can't take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I have to get to work before the lunch rush. <laughs> Is Diana coming out today? Yeah, she's on a conference call. Let's hurry up and get this block finished before she finds us. No, she just got here. She might get used to the work. Let's hope not. She'll be homesick for New York. You think? Oh, yeah, I know. Then I'll make her a fair offer. We can concentrate on planning for next year. I don't have to put up with any more. <laughs> Diana, so glad you could make it. Sorry about the call. I had to file for a continuance. Have you ever saved a wrongfully convicted man? <laughs> no, I don't practice that kind of law. OK, uh, let's talk. More looking for mildew. You know, I read up on that. How do you treat it? Well, this close to the harvest, we just pick the grapes. The rest of the year, use sulfur. That's not the most effective method. No, but it's one of the safest. Maybe we could try fungicides. That's what they use down in Garrettson's vineyard. Those chemicals go into the wine. Oh, OK. Well, I'll have to do more research. Yeah, you know what? Why don't, why don't you do that? I said I would do my part here. Fine, but we're in the field all day. Jill. Hello, Grant. What's up? Well, I've been hearing some interesting things about Hugh Roberts' will. Now, you know I've wanted to buy Golden Range Vineyards for years. Yeah, I know. I hear the girl's a lawyer from New York. Can't imagine she'd be staying out here very long, can you? <laughs> well, would you give up half a vineyard? Oh, come on, she's only keeping it so she can sell it. Does the will say she has to sell the Seth? You know I can't talk about specifics. You wouldn't want me discussing your business all over town. I know Seth is going to be stubborn on this. I think you're wasting your time. Yeah. Well, you're probably right. Thanks, Jill. Those were fancy. Better than flip flops, I guess. Oh, you remember that? Oh. Uncle Hugh said I'd be sorry if I wanted to. But it's 
12 years old, you were stubborn. Wouldn't stop till your feet were completely caked in mud. So how's it look? I mean, the sugar's not there yet. You know, I read online that you should be testing the pH, too. The internet also says Martians invented Thanksgiving. No, in this case, you're right. This is a pH meter. Oh, hey, Liz, what's up? Diana? Now? Diana, Just give me a second. We have to get this entire block done Hello? before it gets dark. Okay, then you go ahead and I'll catch up. Diana. Hello, are you there? Okay, I'm good. They found some future pain. What? Oh, Amelia, hey. Oh, hey. I'm actually about to go on break, so one of the other girls can take your order. Hey, just give me a second. What is this? I know. Socks are so romantic. Well, they're more original than flowers. <laughs> they're anti-blister. Normal tube socks aren't good for runners. That's so sweet of you. I go to this runner's yoga class at my club. I can bring a guest. I'm not really a yoga girl. Are you a girl? A what? I have this app that helps you run. Uh, you pretend that vampires chase you. Actually, sounds kind of fun. I'll send you the link. We can run together. Maybe after your shift. Me, you, vampires. It'll be fantastic. I'll think about it. What's that? Hughes Ledger. Trying to figure out our quarterly earnings. Is there any more pasta? Oh, sorry, there was only a little bit left in the box. His handwriting's impossible. It's like he wrote with his feet. Can I see? What are angry pajamas? That's accounts payable. And everything that looks like a question mark is the number seven. Are you sure? Yeah, he writes just like my dad. Um, that thing is a mess. We should probably get some accounting software. Um, you like to keep everything on paper. Well, some people listen to cassette tapes. It's quaint. You can't run a business without technology. Well, technology isn't everything. I suppose you'd want to automate the harvest. If it makes things more efficient, yeah, sure, why not? Because machines can't inspect every grape the way you did. I'd rather work twice as hard and make better wine. Okay, but there's no advantage to making our accounting more difficult, so I'm gonna order the software. Hello, welcome to the wine and dine. Thank you so much. See you soon. Hi. Hi. Hey, honey. Listen, I was reading a craft magazine, and I came up with this great idea for the festival. What's this? I've been watching craft shows on TV. I've been reading magazines. I've been checking out forums. How do you have time for this? <laughs> In between clients. This is so much more fun than planning someone's estate. <laughs> and, Mom, this looks pretty elaborate. Oh, it's just to make an impression, Susie. I figure if we can stand out, we can business a success. We're doing okay, Mom. <laughs> no, you can never have enough customers, honey. Anyway, I could leave this with you, and you can go through it and see if you like any of the ideas. Okay. Honey, this is going to be the best harvest festival ever. Starter on the tractor's been acting up. Ugh. Okay, I'll take a look at it later. Hey, Diana looked pretty wiped out. Maybe you should take it a little easier on her. If she thinks she can handle the work, she might not sell. I mean, what if she decided to run the winery from New York? Well, you know what's worse than that? She gets annoyed with you and sells her half to Garretson. You should be a lot nicer to her. Hey, I'm nice to her. Garretson will outbid you. Don't give her a reason to take his offer. Find a way to be nice, okay? Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm gonna go finish up. Catch you in the morning. Thanks for making me feel like a loser. The vampires caught me. <laughs> That's the whole point, to train you to run faster. Yeah, or to give me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. I think it was something in my eye. Looks like you lost an eyelash. <laughs> make a wish. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, dear. Just thought I saw someone I knew. Well, 
Why didn't you wake me up? You seemed pretty tired yesterday. I thought I'd let you sleep in. Thanks, I think. Sorry I didn't make enough uh, food for you last night. Been cooking for one for a while now. All right, what do you want? We got off to a rough start. If we have to work together, we might as well get along. Pancakes as a peace offering? I accept. Okay, so I went through. Really, sales are flat. We need to look into some new markets. He was talking about that before he got sick. Are you expecting someone? Ah, oh, you must be Diana. I'm Grant Garretson. I own Garretson Vineyards. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> well, hopefully all good. <laughs> so what brings you to Golden Rain? Well, I wanted to meet my new neighbor. I heard that you're a lawyer in New York. So you must be wanting to get back to your firm after the harvest. Who do you work with again? Davidson, Erdman, and Kirk them well. Tom Kirkbright and I have done some work together. Oh, well, I will tell him you say hello. You know, Golden Range is a terrific little winery. With my capital and distribution network, I can take this place to the next level. When you're finished with the harvest, I'm willing to make an offer 30% above asking price for your half of the business and the land. I'll beat any offer that you get. The answer's no. Seth, I'm willing to make you the exact same offer. Still no. This is my decision. Listen, you guys take a little time with this. There's no pressure. I'll have a case of my wine sent over while you mull through it. Oh, that's really not necessary. Thank you. Diane, my offer stands whether Seth sells or not. I'm not selling, Grant. Since there's no point owning half a vineyard, I don't see why you'd make Diana an offer. Because eventually, I think you're going to realize that owning a little place like this is a lot more trouble than it's worth. When you want to talk, give me a call. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, that was a waste of time. You just turned down an offer without discussing it with me first. Look, Garretson uses toxic pesticides in his farming methods. He'll ruin the soil. We can't sell to him. Maybe my uncle left me half of Gold Range because I had more business experience. Garretson could really make this place successful. Oh, I hope it's not the engine. So now you won't even talk with me about this? You want to talk about it? Fine, let's talk about it. The way Garretson does business... Uh, Seth! Uh, uh, Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me help. Fine. I'm fine. I think it was the size of a cantaloupe. You're not working in fields. No, the cold will help. You remember when you got stung by that scorpion? You said you'd walk it off. <laughs> and you ratted me out to Hugh. Yeah, well, it was for your own good. If he hadn't taken you to the doctor, who knows what would happen? Seth, I think I think that's a sprain. You're gonna have to rest it. Nope. No, the harvest could start any. You can handle it, and I can help. <sighs> Hughes will said we have to work together. That's funny. That's that wasn't the case when you were sending me back to the house to do my legal work. <laughs> like you ever listen to me anyway. I listen to you. It's something I want to do. I guess keeping in touch with me when you moved away wasn't something you wanted to do. It didn't seem to bother you at the time. My wonderful project. Oh. So how'd it go with Paul last night? Nothing happened. You're blushing. Do you like him? Maybe I was wrong about Paul. He's actually kind of sweet. So what'd you guys do? We went for a jog, and then he bought me a smoothie. So a date? No, not a date. We were just hanging out as friends for now. Woke up in the morning, felt the sun on my face. Ooh, what a wonderful thing. There's something in the air that really makes me feel like today is gonna be great. Diana! Hey, how'd it go today? Uh, great. The and I checked all the sugar levels. Great. Did you check the drip system in block six? Yes, we did. Oh, and uh, uh, Theo had said that he saw some mole in some of the Chardonnay grape leaves. Did he recheck those? You know what, Seth? Why don't you go back to resting your ankle, and I will go to town to get us some dinner. Oh. 
Diana, hi. Hi. Uh, have you met my daughter, Susan? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can I get you something? Um, can I just order something to go? Yes. You're not gonna eat here. I can't. Seth hurt his ankle, so I was gonna bring him something. Oh. How are things going with you two? Let's just say harvest can't come fast enough. You know, when you make wine, it's the subtle changes that make the big difference. Hey. Hey. So, I got your favorite. Susie says you love the turkey club. I do. Thanks. I told you those boots were no good for the vineyard. Okay, let's just focus on the accounting. How's it going? Uh, I've cracked some of the ledger's code. Monkey cots is actually machinery costs. Oh, see, now I thought we employed a staff of live-in monkeys to stomp on the grapes. That would make us more popular with the tourists. <laughs> Do you want some help with the hieroglyphics? No, I got it. Well, then I'm going to go work on my brief, which is ironically incredibly long. <laughs> Sounds good. Theo's on his way to pick me up. We're gonna run some errands. Okay. baby, we just used to be friends. Thanks, Theo. All right, Seth. Appreciate it. All right. Bye. Let your love no one come in. Diana. having problems with the birds. They love the grapes, but they hate these. Why didn't you let me drive you? I wanted to get an early start. You weren't ready. I know, I'm sorry. I had a video chat with my boss. He's very unhappy. With you? Well, in general, but yeah, he's not thrilled with me today. I, um, I fell asleep before I could get my brief in. Yeah, I didn't want to wake you. Thanks for these. They're super hideous. <laughs> Very comfortable. Yeah, well, you've been working really hard. You shouldn't have sore feet. Do you remember our game? Yeah. Okay. Can I do one? Yeah. All right. Wow, that was that, that's it, huh? It could have been worse, Seth. Ready? Okay. Okay. Put oh, fire. Oh, you got my nose! Machine gun fire. Ah, and this. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Double check both foreign and domestic distribution. Go over confidentiality clause at board meeting. What's up? Dad, I wanted to talk to you about making a Heinz Zinfandel. I was looking at buying a vineyard that has better Zen grapes. Well, the only vineyard we're gonna buy is Golden Range and they don't make Zinfandel. Did you have a chance to review my social media plan? Do you think we could try to learn this business before you change it? Can we just talk about my ideas? Well, we can talk about that waitress I saw you with. Amelia? What's going on with the two of you? We're just friends. Why? No reason. Your mother and I are having dinner tonight at Les Maison Rose. Why don't you invite her along? Okay.
No bugs? Oh, good. What a relief. <laughs> yeah, but just to be safe, maybe we should set some traps. You know, I was actually reading up on organic pesticides. We have a whole pest control system in place. Just trying to contribute. You know, it's really hard to work with somebody who refuses any help. I let you drive me here. Seriously. I mean, Theo's been here for how many years, and you barely put him in charge of anything. It's just easier for me to do it myself than to explain it to someone. Well, you can't run a whole vineyard by yourself. I just have to get through the harvest. Just let me do it my way. Just like every summer, I would come visit. You don't want any help from me. Yeah, I took this seriously. You were just on vacation. And how would you know that? Because you left and never came back. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm not the one you hurt. You, know, you, didn't, you didn't visit Hugh when he was sick. I didn't know. And I tried to make it back for the memorial. I really did. But you didn't. He left you, Diana. Don't you think he deserved better than that? Hello, son. Mom, this is Amelia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Enjoy. Amelia, I hope you... Boosh. Well, I'm not quite sure what it is, but... She's working to save money for school. That's very admirable. Oh, uh, that's Brandy Hollings and her daughter, Brooke. I should go say hello. Excuse me. Paul, you should say hi to Brooke. I guess it would be rude to ignore her. Amelia, do you mind? No, of course not. Okay. That sounds much better. Yeah. Paul dated Brooke at Stanford. She's very pretty. Brooke is the type of girl Paul will wind up with. With all due respect, Mr. Gerritsen, I don't think you know what Paul wants. Amelia, you seem like a lovely person. Paul might be enjoying your company right now, but he will get bored, and he will end up with someone like Brooke. You know that. It's whatever. I just... I just hate to see you get hurt. Not for another few weeks. Ugh, I made a mistake giving her this time off. I should have learned my lesson after the Barber disaster. <laughs> Barber took maternity leave. All right. Well, see what you can do about getting Diana back here sooner. Yes, sir. This is always my favorite place on the property. Yeah, I know. After you left, I spent a lot of time here. Listen, I'm sorry I said that about you. Don't be, you were right. I should have kept in touch with him. I let him down. No, you didn't. He was so proud of you, he just, I... Did I? just got so busy with college and then 
law school. And now this job, I just never found the time. I always thought it was because we broke up. You said you thought it never bothered me, but it did. Really? You're always so matter of fact. I had to go away to school. Your life is here. Summer was over. What was I gonna do? Ask you to stay? Give up college? I mean, it didn't seem right. We'd have some great memories that summer, though, didn't we? Remember the meteor shower? Yes, yes, I do. You were so into astronomy then. <laughs> what a Hey, so now that you are here, uh, kind of like you're helpless something. Is Seth Voss asking for help? Yeah. Soak it up. Seriously, I'm spinning my wheels on this new marketing thing. I'm good at growing grapes, not business. You want me to come up with some new ideas? Yeah, I do. Okay. How about pizza and brainstorming back at the house after work? See? You already came up with a great idea. Party at table four is waiting for someone. Can you grab in their water? Oh. Actually, could you cover me? Are you avoiding me? Yes. Is that why you've been ghosting me? You don't answer my texts or my messages. I've been busy. I I'm at work right now. Come on. You barely home from the restaurant. We don't have anything in common. That's not true. We're both runners. That's not enough. Have dinner with me. We might have more in common than you know. I have tables, excuse me. Amelia! What about tasting room? We could offer winery tours, or we could have weddings here. Mm. Takes a lot of organizing. It's just me and Theo. There was a tasting room here when we were younger, though. You remember that? You remember the lady who ran it? Margie. She asked you to be the flower girl in her wedding? I was too old to be a flower girl. Is that why you remade the dress without her permission? It's a statement piece. <laughs> And then she wouldn't let me walk down the aisle. Well, yeah, I remember that. I ended up on rose petal duty. And you did a spectacular job. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought so. <laughs> we didn't get much of a marketing strategy done, did we? It's okay. We got plenty of time before we get crazy with the harvest. Yeah, I'll make some calls tomorrow. Sounds good. Uh, I'll see you in the field. Night. Oh, hey, did you change that part on the wine press? Yeah, everything's looking good. And I got the tractor fixed. We needed a new starter. Hey, you know those ideas you've been wanting to talk to me about? Yeah, it's no big deal. After the harvest, let's sit down. I want to hear what you think, you know, how we can make this place even better. Really? Yeah, she seems surprised. It's just been that, you know, you've always been kind of set in your ways. Let's see what we got here. Sun double check that back order on the East Coast. Did Amelia seem upset the other night at dinner? No. She seemed like a lovely girl. I mean, after I went to talk to Brooke, she just didn't seem herself. Well, maybe she felt a little uncomfortable in that environment. That doesn't seem like her. Paul, you've dated women from a similar background. When you start seeing someone with a little less sophistication, let's say, obstacles will get in the way. I think our Pinot Noir would make a perfect addition to your wine list. Sandy Chapman is your sommelier? Okay, I'll get a bottle right out to her. Hey, Dylan. Thank you. Bye. So that was a former colleague who got fed up with law, decided to open a restaurant. Sounds risky. It was, but now he owns San Francisco. And they want to try our wine. Which one did you recommend? Well, I talked to our distributor, and he likes the Pinot. 
Look at you. He would be proud. You know what? Come with me. I just hose down my work. You don't need him. Come on. Hugh had started teaching me how to mix different types of grapes. So about a year ago, I started a little science project. Oh, that's not scary. Hopefully not, because it's ready today. What is it? I put up a blend of Cabernet Franc and Pinot Noir, and you're going to be the first one to taste it. What? No, no. I know way more about making wine than tasting it. Seth, it'll be wasted on me. I drink wine from a box. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you how to take it around. Good, now smell it. it. Smells fruity, is that good? Take a sip, tell me exactly what you think, be honest. It's layered and balanced, sending gentle waves of floral elements to the palate with vanilla undertone sarking. Just kidding, I was reading wine reviews this morning. I have no idea what any of it means, except that the one that smells like wet dog is not good. It's probably Garretson's. <laughs> Seriously, what do you think of the wine? It's terrific. This should be the wine we send to my friend's restaurant. Really? You think so? Yeah. I mean, Hugh, Hugh told me that wine was about more than just chemistry and biology. It was also about balance. I get why you don't want to sell Golden Range. Being here brings back a lot of memories. Mostly good ones. Well, I should probably send some samples to my friend, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mom, what was so important you couldn't wait to show me? I came up with a sample menu for the festival. Look, I figured we could start with past hors d'oeuvres and then a lobster medallion with wasabi mayonnaise and a shrimp beggar's purse. Mom, this was so nice of you, and I can see you really went to a lot of trouble, but um, let's just stick with the mini grilled cheese and the sliders, okay? But I showed it to the committee. Adriana is very partial to the gorgonzola tart. Mom, why would you show them without talking to me first? Well, I didn't mean to, but we're friends, and we went for lunch, and the topic came up. I don't know, Mom. Well, just try. You know, maybe you'll come up with something special for the menu here. Oh, well, can't beat a lawyer in an argument. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Can hey. I get you some iced tea? That would be wonderful. Um, actually, I'll be right back. I miss my running buddy. <sighs> You're such a goofball. I thought we had a connection. I just want the truth, even if it is a stake through the heart. We do have a connection. But at dinner with your parents, I felt so uncomfortable. We're from two different worlds. It was my dad's idea. I don't even like French food. Yeah, it smells like garden pests, not food. <laughs> nice. Let me take you there. for both of us, believe it or not. That is so sweet. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, I've been such a help around here. I just, you know, wanted to do something nice. So how's the uh, Ledger of Doom? Everything's online now. Yeah, Hugh was good at a lot of things. Uh, apparently, math was not one of them. <laughs> so do you miss the city? If you weren't working all the time, you'd be bored out here. You know, I don't really have any time to take advantage of anything in the city. I mean, I'm lucky if I get a night off to do laundry. You work that much. Yeah. How about you? Do you, um, do you ever get bored out here? No. I love it. Clean air, no traffic. I mean, I went away to go to college, but I couldn't wait to get back. I'm just happy to see some sky. You must uh, really love what you do to give up so much. You want to eat? I'd love to. All right.
Alrighty, here you guys go. Enjoy. What do you think? What is that? It's supposed to be a beggar's purse? A what? My mom wants me to make them for the festival. and She has this whole menu. What do you think? I don't know. It's not very you. I mean, if we're supposed to get people interested in the type of food we serve here, shouldn't we be serving that type of food? That's how I feel. So why don't you just go back to your original menu? I just think she'll be upset. I think you gotta do what feels right. So where'd you get this? Borrowed it. Figured it was about time I made good on my promise to show you the stars. Well, thank you. Okay. So, that one is Sagittarius. That one, and then that's Cassiopeia uh, past the moon. You know, when I was little, my mom used to always say that if you looked hard enough at the moon, you'd see a woman looking in a mirror, brushing her hair. Oh yeah, it's probably the Sea of Tranquility. Have you seen it? Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Since that Smith deal. Rand Garretson. Always a pleasure. What can I do for you? Well, it turns out we have someone in common. Really? Diana Roberts. She's spending some time at one of the wineries up here. Oh, right. Something about her family's thing. Well, this girl's a real dynamo. And she's really making herself at home up here. Huh. It's time. Call the harvest team. We're starting in the morning. All right. Woo! you get my email? Listen, I've got the scoop on the National Mutual Bank case. The client's not happy with the team, and Kirkbride wants to put someone new on it. Did he say who? He keeps asking when you're coming back. Well, you have to stall him. I mean, I, I'm, we're so close to harvest. You have to come back now, Diana. I mean, I can't. I'll lose everything. Just leave the grapes to the farmers and get yourself on a plane. If it's a legal technicality keeping you at the vineyard, I'm sure you can figure it out. You've got to come back. Hey, Susie. This dress okay? Very cute. Why are you so dressed up? I'm gonna grab a bite with Paul. So you can really? Well, he's very persistent. Will you just admit that you like him? He's cute and he's rich. Okay, and the rich thing is not a plus. His dad looks at me like I crawled out from under a rock. So you're dating him, not his parents. Besides, if he's a decent guy, he knows what a catch you are. Thanks, Susie. I needed to hear that. See you tomorrow. Hi. Have a good time. Thanks. So we start tomorrow? Yep. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. We made it all the way to Harvest without killing each other. I'm really starting to see why you love this place so much. Your office needs to look up the word vacation. This isn't work. Hello? Oh, hi, Sandy. Yes. Thank you. Great. Yes, we will be in touch. OK, bye-bye. What is a drop-dead gorgeous wine with amazing intensity, cooling acidity, and bright berry notes that structure? You gotta stop reading those wine magazines. That wasn't a review, Seth. That's what the head sommelier just said about your wine. We're in. That's fantastic. <laughs> hey, Seth, what kind of grapes do you think we should start working on tomorrow? Uh, let's start with the Syrah. Okay. Do you want to get together with the team and I'll set up a meeting with them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, Diana, um, the Harvest Festival is tomorrow night. Thank you for the information. You want to go with me? Make sure you follow up on that by tomorrow. Mr. Garretson. Hello. A uh, cup of coffee to go, please. Right away. Where's Amelia? Oh, she took the night off. She's out. She's with Paul. They are so cute together. There you go. 
Just keep it. Thanks. Have a great night. Thanks. There you go, honey. Yeah. Those boat chances are so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> hmm? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. This was a horrible idea for a date night. I am such a mess. You're perfect. And this is the most fun I've had since I've been back in town. I really needed this night out. But can you dance? What? Because I would like to take you to the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Sure. I'm so glad you had time to come over. I wanted to talk to you about the menu for the festival. Okay. Is this an old menu? Mom, I tried all of those recipes you gave me, and they just aren't what I serve here. I just don't think you're gonna get any more catering business with a generic menu. Well, then I won't. But I have to do this my way. I hope you understand. to see me? Yeah. Sit down. I've been thinking about your idea of wanting to make a, a better quality wine. I'm gonna let you try it. Thanks, Dad. There's exceptional old vine Zinfandel in Block 30, France. You'd be living there just for a couple years until you learn I, I don't want to move. Paul, you need to get your priorities straight. This is about Amelia, isn't it? No, this is about you wanting to make a better quality of wine. Now you get a chance to do it. But I want to make better wine here. Son, I respect the passion you have for your ideas. But this is my winer, and we do things my way. Looks like you're gonna have to make a choice. So, heard you and Diana are going to the dance. Yeah, that'll be fun to celebrate, you know? Go off a little steam. You're a terrible liar, my friend. Eh, doesn't matter, she's going back to New York. Well, did you ask her to stay? Maybe tell her how you feel about it. I think the other team needs help. No, they don't. Yeah, maybe they do. Go ask them. Busy day in the office, Grant. What can I do for you? I wanted to check back in with you about Diana Roberts. Since she's making a name for herself up here, I wondered if you'd recommend her. I'm always looking for a new lawyer. <laughs> Diana has a job, Grant. She works for me. Well, that's if she decides to come back to New York. You really think she's going to stay? Well, life is pretty nice up here, Tom. Unless, of course, New York had something better to offer. Maybe it does. Nice talking with you again, Tom. What do you think? Like a rock a cocktail dress? I mean, the shoes really make the outfit. Oh, don't worry. I have my mom's heels in the back. Cinderella, go get ready for the ball. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> have so much fun. Mr. Garrison. Oh, hello. I was actually looking for Paul. Don't you look pretty? Are you going to the festival tonight? Paul's taking me. Is he? You two make such a nice couple. It's a shame you won't be able to make the trip to France. What's in France? And Paul. He's moving there as of next week. He'll learn so much more there than I can teach you. I thought that he would have told you. Well, I know he's looking forward to, to going. Enjoy the festival. Hi, boss. Diana Roberts, how are things at the vineyard? Oh, great. 
Listen, I know you've been working very hard from there. I've got some good news. How'd you like to be lead counsel on the National Mutual Bank case? Seriously? Yes, uh, yes, that's amazing. We're having a kickoff meeting on Monday. Monday? Isn't that a little soon? It's out of the DC office. I'll have my assistant get you on the red eye tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Um... You can't have a kickoff meeting without the lead counsel. Everyone is flying into DC. We've got people coming in from London and Shanghai. Can I get back to you? You have until midnight. I'll still be at the office. Amelia? Am I too early? I thought you said to meet you here at closing time. I did. I helped Susie out at the festival, so I won't be going with you. Okay. I understand. I can take you dancing some other time. Picked up some pretty killer dance moves from my business school formals. Is there anything you wanted to tell me? No. Why? I don't think we should see each other anymore. What did I do? Nothing. I just know this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> you know, the moment I first saw you, I thought you were out of my league. I guess I was right. Unfortunately, my work boots are still dry. Seriously, you look beautiful. Uh. Not really much of a corsage guy. <laughs> okay, well then I won't ask you to pin it on my dress. <laughs> this is a clipping from the first vine you planted. One golden range, its first award. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, it can't compare to the galas you're used to attending in the city. Oh, I love it. Air's cleaner. Hopefully no one asks me for free legal advice. Well, just don't get missed. Cows. Thanks, Amelia. You good? Okay. Welcome to the Harvest Festival. You good? Not that I don't appreciate the help, but where's Paul? I don't know. Probably packing for France. France? I don't really want to talk about it. It's so nice. You know, actually, um, I'm not feeling so great. Do you mind if I head out? Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Would the lady care to dance? Yeah, why not? Oh, sorry for interrupting. I want you to meet my wife, Ashley. She heard you were a fabulous lawyer and wants some of your advice. Our neighbor's threatening to cut down our oak tree. I, I don't know. This will just take a second. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Congratulations. You won the harvest. Yes, we did. It's going to be a great year. Now can we talk seriously about that offer I want to make you? I can give you a serious no. Well, I might have to check with Diana before she leaves, see how she feels about that. She might be staying. No, no, I don't think so. You see, her boss is a buddy of mine. He just put her on the firm's biggest account. She's leaving tomorrow. No, she would have told me if she was leaving. Pass up the biggest opportunity of her career to pick grapes? Seth, even if you took out a loan, you couldn't match what I can offer her. And what are you gonna do with half a vineyard? This food is fabulous. It is. And this is your daughter's restaurant? Yes. I think I'm going to have her cater my next fundraiser. Thanks. 
this looks amazing. Oh, sure, can't compare with the food in Paris. What do you mean? Maybe you can send me some recipes. Who told you about that? Amelia. Amelia? And how would she know about it? I think I might know. Then we'll make plans for Yes, too. yes, would love that. Definitely right do that. I can't wait. Bye -bye. Look forward to it. Amelia broke up with me tonight. Did you have anything to do with that? Grant, what's going on? You told Amelia I was going to France. You are going to France. It's a great opportunity I'm giving you with the company. I'm not going. You are going. I've already made the arrangements. Dad, you have a way of doing things that doesn't sit right with me. I can't change that. But that is not the way I want to spend the next 40 years of my life. What do you mean by that? I quit. For the first time in my life, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to figure out what I love, and it's not working for you. Did you take that big case? I just found out today. Start date. I'm sure you did. I was going to talk with you about this tonight. Hey, what's this talk about? I called Jill before I left the house. Because we started the harvest, we met the terms of the will. The vineyard's ours whether I stay or go. Is that what you think this is about? I mean, if, if you're worried about me selling to Gerritsen... I thought we were building something here together. You said you liked it here, you might want to stay. Is that a lie? No. I've worked hard too, Seth. And I can work on our marketing plan for New York. Yeah, maybe. Let's just go. Hello? Liz, hi. Did I wake you? Well, there is a time difference, remember? <laughs> What's up? Sorry, um, I just... I need you to resend that discovery. I, I didn't get it. Oh, I'll send it first thing. Hey, I heard about National Mutual. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that was enthusiastic. Did you really call me this late to talk about work? Nothing seems to be going right. And a look up. I know I've been pushing... Wanna come back here? Of course! Yeah, I've, I've worked my whole life for an opportunity like this. An opportunity you don't sound excited about at all. I'm excited. I just, I'm tired. I still have so much to do. I promised Seth that I would clean out my uncle's office and... Hey, Liz, I'm so sorry I woke you up. I'm gonna be all right. Will you just send that discovery in the morning? Okay. Bye. that it can't wait till the morning. Is this a valid will? Well, it was until Hugh changed it. So up until two months before he passed away, he left everything to Seth? He changed... No. He left strict instructions that you and Seth read it together after the harvest. How could he know that we would make it that long? He didn't. Jill, this is important. You more than anyone should realize that these instructions are binding. Then I need a favor. Jill, have you seen Diana? We had an argument last night. I need to apologize. She's gone. She took an early flight. What? What? what, what without saying goodbye? So. I 
guess that's it then. Um, well, Shaggy, I guess I should go to the bank uh, so I can buy her out before Garrison gets to her. You don't have to do that, Seth. She and I wrote up this agreement last night. She's uh, giving you her half. Why would she do that? <sighs> she had to get back to her real life, I guess. Huh? You can't be angry at her for leaving, Seth. postcard from France. What's all my father's doing? I know he talked to you. You'd be crazy to throw away that opportunity for me. <sighs> I'm crazy, all right? I quit. I don't work for my father. Will you go out with an unemployed guy who's probably going to be living in his car? If you can catch me. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm. Hey. Hi. Come in here. I owe you an apology. You were right about the menu. You did an amazing job. I shouldn't have pushed so hard for my ideas. Why did you? Well, here's the thing. I bought this bistro, and I was so afraid that if it wasn't a huge success, that you'd leave again. Mom, I missed you too. Oh, you're doing an incredible job running this place. So you'll admit that I'm right? <laughs> well, just this once. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. plant. I always forget to water mine. It's a clipping from my vineyard, or Sus vineyard. I was thinking about planting it on my rooftop garden. Why? To grow grapes? Mm -hmm. With time, eventually make my own wine. Time? <laughs> Diana, you're not gonna have time. You're gonna have status meetings every two weeks in D.C. and depositions all over the world. I didn't realize there would be... Don't worry, you're gonna be able to work while you're away. But win this, and you are our top pick for partner. Does it get easier then? <laughs> no, it actually gets harder. You gotta handle these cases and bring new clients in. Now, I gotta take this. Good to have you back. What can I do for you? Good to see you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Shall we get Anything good? I had some interviews lined up. Entry level, but they could be interesting. I feel like this is all my fault. No, it's not. Ever since I was little, my dad tried to tell me where to go to school. I made play. But he's not going to tell me who to date. I'm just being outside. Kirkbride's been asking me about those contracts. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm still adjusting to being back. You seem so much happier working from the vineyard. Maybe you should take the weekend off and go visit Seth. No. Things didn't end well between us. I thought by giving him my half the vineyard that I would make things right. Maybe that's not what he wanted. What else is there? This year, Chardonnay is going to be a real winner. Yeah. Have you spoken to Diana? No. She made her decision. Why don't you just call her? You let her go once. We were kids then. What's your excuse now? Hi. Do we have lunch plans? No. 
I spoke with Paul. You have to fix this. I'm just trying to do what's best for him. I know you are, sweetheart, but you can't tell him who to love. And you wouldn't respect him very much if he let you. He's his own man, Grant. Isn't that what you've always wanted? join you too actually I probably have to get back to work Mr. Garrettson um, good to see you I like you call me Grant I'd like you to come back to work for me forget about France no I want to work for people who appreciate my ideas no strings attached. No strings attached, I promise. Why would I believe you? Paul, I was wrong. I was pretty angry at first when you stood up to me like that. And I realized it's what I needed. Nobody says no to me at my company, even when I have a bad idea. You had the courage to stand up for what you believed in. I'm proud of you, son. to live my own life not the one you have planned for me you know Paul I I know I haven't been the best dad but I've always done what I thought was best for you I know and even though I'm not working for you I would still love your advice on whatever I decide to do you got it Thanks, Dad. So, Diana, Willoughby is going to be in London tomorrow. You have to talk strategy on ball. Then you have to interview some investors in Hong Kong on Tuesday. We can put you in business. This is the way to go. You can work in your sleeping pod. I don't want a sleeping pod. I don't want to talk numbers with investors. <laughs> uh, what do you want? I want to create something I'm really proud of. I don't understand. I just got your text. What's going on? I need you to cover for me. We're, we're bottling everything. Do you want to call me with instructions or something? Now you've done this before. I trust you. <laughs> oh. You're not going anywhere. Look who's here. And on that note, I'm gonna check on bottling. somewhere well I was going to New York really so what brings you to Golden Range quit my job to do what I don't know needed to talk to you about your agreement I already gave you my share I don't know what else you want I'm not signing it I don't want your half I don't want to run Golden Range without you as a partner. And I don't just mean as a business partner. I want to be 
but I'd sell this place in a second to be with you. When I see I heard you were back. Hi, I thought we weren't signing the vineyard contracts until tomorrow. I wanted to give you these. They're from Hugh. Thanks. Seth and Diana, you must wonder why I brought you two together under such strange circumstances. Seth, Golden Range alone. My dearest Diana, I know your busy schedule kept you from visiting. The few times we spoke, you didn't sound happy. I wanted to give you another chance to be that little girl who ran through the vineyard so carefree. As I leave this earth, my greatest regret is that I never had time to share my life with someone. I wanted the two people I love most in the world to find each other again, to take care of each other. And if you happen to fall in love, all I ask is that you remember me in a toast. When I say